Green, yellow, or red, there's a science behind stoplight timing. The city of Naperville has 155 traffic signals, and 91 of them are maintained by the city. So how do they determine how long you wait at any intersection? NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck met up with a local expert to find out. Project manager Andy Hines is the bright bulb behind many of the city's traffic lights. He says to determine their timing, traffic engineers first collect data at each intersection, like number of vehicles, visibility, number of lanes, and speed limit, among many other factors. We put them into uh, some simulation software. Um, that simulation software, software is designed to come up with uh, a set of optimized timings, and uh, we take the results of that modeling we, uh, and put that out into the, the field. Traffic signals are synchronized to a set cycle, taking 80 to 160 seconds for a full rotation from green to yellow to red to green again. Cycles typically change throughout the day to reflect traffic patterns at the time. During the daytime, the signal is going to give the majority of green time to the main street. And that's why uh, oftentimes when you're on the side street, you have to wait a little bit longer because you have to wait you know, for your, your, your window. But some things can throw off a light cycle, like construction, emergency vehicles, pedestrian push buttons, and most frequently, traffic. Devices like a video camera can detect when vehicles are present. The most common and reliable devices are underground sensors. There's usually about three six by six loops in the pavement in each lane. And once a vehicle drives over one of those loops, uh, the conductivity of the vehicle causes a disturbance in the electrical field there. Sometimes triggering a change in a traffic light to give the green light to the busier street. Every year the city typically spends more than $2,000 in ongoing electricity for the lights and in repairs, plus $250,000 for each new traffic signal that needs to be installed. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. If you have an intersection you think the city needs to look at, you can email them at traffic signals at naperville.il.us.